Dang, good morning. Oh man, it's a lovely day so far. Oh man, what a what a Monday morning. For sure. Oh my gosh, it is seriously Monday. Today, man, scripture comes from Galatians. I don't know. It's the uh, next book in the Bible going that way. I don't know, it always makes me wonder how, you know, the people on the other side of the world read right to left. The original languages came right to left, not left to right. When we came to the new world, they decided that they would do things backwards. Sorry, my, the dogs are freaking howling. Bunch of crazy kooks. Oh, man. So, I don't know. It always makes me wonder. When I read the Bible the first time I started in, in Revelations, it was very interesting. It was very interesting. It was, uh, I don't know, like a, I don't know, fear is the beginning of the love of the Lord, I swear. Yeah. 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 You fear the power and what it can do to you, but then you learn to love what it can do for you. Um, but yeah, yeah, Galatians, man. This a uh, uh, book written by Paul, obviously. And Paul wrote like 90% of the Bible in the, in the second half, in the second, second inning. <laughs> um... I don't know. I have a feeling this is going to be super interesting. Ephesians and... Uh, oh, man. What was the other one? Ooh, Titus. That's a great book. Ephesians and Colossians. Word. Man, there's, there's gold in there, man. There is, like, refined gold in Colossians. And... Oh, man. So we're going to get into Galatians. Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised him from the dead. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia, grace be to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil world, according to the will of God and our Father. According to the will of God and our Father. It always blows my mind that they are divided. When, he's, when he refers to God and our Father, he refers to them one and the other, not one and the same. I oh, know it always blows my mind. So who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil world. Who says the world is evil? Isn't God the one that fills the world? Is all things not made of him? How can anything be evil? I don't know. It, it, I don't know. I think the will of man, maybe, but... Not necessarily the being itself. Oh no, let's keep reading. We'll we'll see what we'll see what they have to say about it. To whom be glory for ever and ever. Amen. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. As we said before, so say I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that ye have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or God or do I seek to please men? 
For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. But I clarify you, or but I certify you, brethren, that the gospel which was preached of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by the revelation of Jesus Christ. For ye have heard of my co conversation in times past in the Jews, uh, in the Jewish, in the Jews religion, how that beyond measure I persecuted the church of God and wasted it and profited in the Jews religion above many my equals in mine own nation, being more exceedingly zealous of the traditions of my fathers. But when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace, to reveal his son in me, that I might preach him among the heathen. Immediately I conferred not with the flesh and blood. Neither went I up to Jerusalem to them which were apostles, but before me. But I went into Arabia and returned again to Damascus. Then after three years I went up to Jerusalem to see Peter and abode with him fifteen days. But other of the apostles saw I none, save James, the Lord's brother. Now the things which I write unto you, the only other apostle he saw was James, the brother of Christ. In which he had to have collaborated with him. His book's in here. Like, man, the book of James is amazing. You know what? That's where we're going next. I can feel it. <laughs> Book of James is uh, amazingly insightful. Man, I don't know things. Yeah, I don't know if I can share that. Oof. Yeah. All right. Then after three years, he went up to, to Jerusalem to see Peter and abode with him 15 days. But other of the apostles saw I none, save James, the Lord's brother. Now the things which I write unto you, behold, before God, I lie not. Afterwards, I came into the re regions of Syria and Sicilia and was unknown by face unto the churches of Judea, which were in Christ. But they had heard not, but they had heard only that he which persecuted us in times past now preacheth the faith which once he destroyed. And he glorified God, and they glorified God in me. Then fourteen years after I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas and took Titus with me also. And I went up by revelation. And communicated unto them that gospel which I preached, uh, which I preach among the Gentiles, but privately to them which were of reputation, lest by any means I should run or had run in vain. But neither Titus, who was with me, being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised. And that, see, hold on. It was a brake pedal. He did not. Even though Titus, being a disciple of Paul, of Christ, of Christ in Paul, they didn't feel the need to be circumcised. You know, they weren't Jewish. They were Greek. You know what I mean? Judea, that's it's a sign of the Old Covenant, which, I don't know, I kind of, I see how it's a health factor. You know what I mean? Like, you know, cleanliness. Cleanliness next to godliness. You know what I mean? So, keep it clean regardless. <laughs> okay, so, but neither Titus, who was with me, being a Greek, was compelled to be circumcised. And so, like, it's traditions. Follow after traditions. Follow after the Spirit of God. Follow after Christ who, who leads you into all truth, into all wisdom, 
don't follow traditions that just lead you to please men to please one another oh look i'm i'm just like you it's cool like i relate to you i relate to you you relate to me we're all we're all one happy family no 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 in a real family there is strife and there is confrontation and you know and and it's it's friction it it, it helps to bring the light out it, it refines the light within we can't have this world without confrontation this world is perfect as it is ask God he'll tell you what why are you criticizing my work why are you criticizing my creations this place is fine the way it is I made it this way for a reason if I want it changed I will change it and I will let you know <laughs> decide to make those changes you will find out that's like you know what i mean so like don't don't seek to relate just because of tradition it's not about tradition it's about the truth 11 11 on the clock holy crap it's about the truth not tradition okay so and that because of the false brethren unawares brought in who came in privily to spy out our liberty which we have in Christ Jesus, that they might bring us into bondage. There are those who seek out, oh, they see free men. Oh, they see people willing to work. They see people willing to give. So they seek you out. Yes, give to me. I'll take all you have and I'll leave you with nothing. And I'll be, I'll vanish in the night. That's literally how they, you know. I don't think that people do it like, I don't know, man. I don't think that people, all people think like I do. So, you know what? I've found that that is actually very, very true. Not everybody thinks the way we do. You know what I mean? So you got to, it's about being on guard, but not to the point where you are closed off. Say that's, you know, defend yourself. You have every right to. What is right is love. To do what is right is to love. <laughs> we're dilly dilly. Yeah, we're all in the pit of misery together. That's why I actually put this shirt on today. I was like, well, you know, I don't want to support the pit of misery, but we're all there together. Might as well make a joke out of it, right? Might as well have fun with it, because otherwise it can be very depressing to be in the pit of misery. You know, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm in misery anymore. But I know that I live in the pit of misery with everybody else here. You know what I mean? It, it is the pit. But, uh, I don't know. That's kind of how I see it. It's the pit of misery, but it is what we make of it. It's only misery because we allow it to be misery. Because we choose to do nothing about the things that make us miserable. So, you know what I mean? If it is the pit of misery man we're all in it together and if we make a chain we can all get the hell out <laughs> 1333 333 so but if we make a chain together we can all get out we can all make man have you guys ever seen ants make a bridge have you guys ever seen ants climb out like seriously they move as one they work as one they live as one they man the whole thing is all about love if you want to know love look at an ant colony that's love that's love seriously but do they have free will 